Hello, hello, hello. I'm Alucard Night Raven. Welcome to my channel, and welcome to my next Legacy Evolution review. Today, we're looking at the Titan class, Decepticon Warship Nemesis. And I like this figure. I think, yeah, the proportions are somewhat weird, but for a, a giant spacecraft, it works in my opinion. Um great you know little uh thing for the arc to go up against especially both of them in robot mode so i do like this um i've had this for a bit i just ha have been sort of waiting for the right time to review it with everything else going on and trying to get some other reviews out of the way but let us get started and of course we're going to take a look at the gigantic packaging and as you can see here we got the Nemesis front and center. Great image there. You can see the arc in the corner. We've got thrust. Yes, thrust. We've got Thundercracker. I think that's Dirge right there. And then we've got down here that could be Skywarp or just a plane seeker in their Tetrajet mode. So very cool really love the packaging and as you can see i believe that might be cybertron or another possibly earth in the background and it might be earth because that might be the moon i don't know lots of stars still great packaging oh, on the top legacy evolution qr code with the nemesis oh, on the bottom barcode and stuff this is going to be so much fun <laughs> to deal with kicking up dust <laughs> barcode and stuff nothing really on the image on the side our excellent half image artwork so absolutely love that you know said so i really still want posters of this stuff on this side here you can see nemesis in her robot mode love that image looks so good and then of course on the back oh, there is all of our product shots and you can see pretty much everything she comes with um <laughs> the evil fusion is a little goofy but whatever it works still absolutely great so let's get that out of the way and we shall bring, our, oh, sorry, our girl in and take a good look at her. Oh. And just like the Ark, she is pretty large. I'm going to do the best I can here. But one thing that I do love that they did, so if you don't want to stand it up like this, split this open it up and then boom you can lay her flat and look at her a little easier so wonderful purples some darker purples with some lighter purples got some translucent red in here for the cockpit windows we've got some guns that can move here so really nice for that good sized Decepticon insignia right there again absolutely love that all oh, looks so good now when in package the wings are not connected um, I think these are folded down and this piece is not connected so you do have to put a little bit of it together but some blacks and grays and silvers in here it looks really good and plus we've got once i can get it open and bring them out if i can get them out come on get out here come get out here there we go well knocked one of them out There we go. You can see 
we've got little bits of jets. So we got thrust and dirge right here. And if we go to this other side, same thing, open that up, try and get a finger in there to bring it out. If I can, it's, it's a bit difficult. Come on. There we go. <laughs> and I knocked over. There we have another one of our jets. And yeah, they, they can pop off. They're just held on by a post. So like here's our Tetra jet. Really, really tiny. And you can see the post hole in the bottom. And there's a tiny post right there. And you, you can put them however you want. This is just how I decided to do them. But yeah, really cool. I do like that. You know, kind of helps give a bit of a, like, scale of what you really want. So, yeah. So I do have a comparison. Really the only comparison that matters. So let me bring that in. Put her back there. We shall bring in... Oh, the arc. Oops. And I lost that. Which I do have the um, DNA design set. But here, the arc, along with Nemesis. So you can see how well they go together, which they go together very well. <laughs> away until later all right keep bumping my camera so with all of that out of the way let us start on transforming her so we're gonna start with flipping these in tabbing them together all right i haven't done this in a while so do bear with me but i think we want to start with down here Oh, try and remember. Oh. Uh, we'll save that for later. Oh, like I said, it's been it's been a bit. So I think yeah, we want to start with this up here actually. So you can see what I'm doing. Get all of that untabbed. Oof. Tabs in pretty nicely, too. Oh. Yeah. God, I'm jumping ahead. Okay, so if we actually start with all of this first. So we may need to start with the top first. Oh, all right. Emgo does this so much better than I do. So if you have any issues, check out his review. Okay, so yeah, I'm gonna get these arms out of the way. Come up here, separate this, and all of it. Forgot a part. So yeah, we want. So this is gonna be up, and we want this. Yeah, this is gonna be up here. We want to open this up. Now we can open more of this up. Gotta do a little oh, 
to get her out of the way of herself. Now with that out of the way, before I finish that up, so that helps unlock a lot of this. With this, what we want to do is bring this up. So untab this. I'm going to leave that like that for now. And with that, bring it out. And then we're going to come down with it like that. here. I want to bring this around. That's going to help keep the legs locked together. And then this is going to come around and tab in. And then we close that. Same thing here. Bring this around. Tab. Close. Okay. Now done. Actually, hold on. Yeah. So yeah, so what I did, so we want to rotate it here, and then we're going to rotate it once more up here. <laughs> and it can be rather tight. Okay, let's finish the legs. <laughs> So now I'm going to open these up and these, I don't think they really peg, they just sort of sit like that, or no, wait, I think she just keeps them like that, I think, but I think we want to, oh yeah, no, 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 so we rotate it first, now we can open it and they'll tab in. legs to be just like a click apart so again rotate it up split it open oops <laughs> don't do that <sighs> okay there's the legs done now for up here we're gonna bring this down in then you can bring her head up and around and this is going to go in just like that this is going to sit in and there's actually this tab has a slot right in here that you want to sort of aim for. So let's get it till you get it to go in. And it, I think we got it. So now this piece, we're gonna come around and I think what we do, let's see. Uh, that so you want to bring it out like that so we can spin it then it's going to come down and this is going to plug in right here and this is going to plug in right there so make sure we get it all lined up right where we need it <laughs> come on man <sighs> We 
working on these Titan figures. Really wears you out. There we go. And final bit for this back piece. Open it up like that. And uh, now, their arms want to open these up. And that'll give us her Decepticon insignia. And then for this, we're going to open up, rotate around, close it, rotate the hand around. <clears throat> Come on, man. Okay, what's going on here? Oh. There we go. That's one arm done. Now for the other one, same thing. Rotate it around. Close it up. And it should kind of tab in, I think. That'll help hold it. And we rotate this around. And there's the other arm. All done. And here we go. And I am tired. Oh man, I am tired. So, there is Nemesis in a robot mode. And one thing that I am so happy I was right on is the our artwork for Evolution. Had that big Decepticon um, insignia head. And I knew it wasn't Tarn, because Tarn doesn't have that many spikes. However does so it's definitely nemesis right now she got her battle mask down but what we can do we can open up all of this come on come on man why are you fighting me on all of this so you want to Does don't have it locked in tight enough, it does tend to pop out. <sighs> okay, okay, one second. Okay, finally got it. So, yeah, these come in. This piece comes down, so we want to bring this piece up and then open these up as far as you can get them. And there's there's her face. There we go. There. So that snaps in. I think these are supposed to snap in, but I could be wrong. But yeah, there's her face. And as you can see, really good light piping on the eyes. So really, really like that. Back so you can see all them different purples, them now some red showing, just oh man. Really looks good. I really do like that. Big old feet. Yeah. Uh posability. Do bear with me. So head. Get some up, down, can turn all the way. You kind of got to move it around a little bit. Um, arms come up here. And what did I knock off? Oops, knock something off. <laughs> something that I don't think was supposed to come off. <laughs> I'll figure it out. Uh, 
So yeah, I knocked something off. Uh, oh, it was just, it was this cover. This cover right here. Whoops. Yeah. I may have to glue that on. Whoops. That was not what I wanted to do. So uh, maybe you're not supposed to go that far with it. Like, does this one pop off? No, I don't think it does. I think I'm gonna have to glue that back on. So I broke, I broke mine. That's what that is. So that's not. So yeah, you don't want to go up that far with it. Not there, anyways. So there's that. All right. Can rotate here. Got. Dual jointed elbows. Can also rotate there. <laughs> and I'm just knocking everything off. Come on. <laughs> You're going to be tight. <sighs> So that is part of the issue here. Honestly, is like I love this. I really do like this figure, but clearances are not the greatest for some things. And so we do get rotation, as you've seen. Uh, these three fingers are connected, and then the thumb can move. That's that's all we've got there. As you saw from transformation, there is a waist, legs. Oh boy. It's gonna be fun. It's gonna be fun, fun, fun. Ugh. Can kick, go forward. <sighs> Only about that far. Can come back. Only about that far. Over the full Van Dam thigh, and under 90 for a knee. And the feet. We do get ankle. It's Oh, it's so hard to move. It's rather wear, wore me out. Oh. So yeah. That is Nemesis. In a robot mode, she does have weapons. So the evil fusion you saw is either of these can come out and act as battle ma battle axes, and just tab in to her hand. She can hold those if you wish. You can put these back in. And then, what you can also do is can untab these. Oh, come on. Oh, rip it off. Bring this out. Bring this down. And now, this. She can hold as well. And you want to get it in this, in there. Come on. Kind of got to get the right position with it, but there we go. And there she's holding that as a gigantic gun. So, yeah. Yeah. So there's that. Whew. Fun. Fun, fun, fun. But me personally, I'm not really sure how exactly I'm going to do this with with her between her and the arc. 
on my shelf. You know, I had them in there. I keep popping that off. I had them in their ship modes for a long time. And now I'm going to have them in their robot modes for a while. That's just what I would prefer. But yeah. All right. So now our comparison. Let's see how well we can do this. All right, there we have the Ark and the Nemesis in their robot modes. Still, I like, pardon me, <laughs> I like them both. I think they look great. I think they did a really good job with them, with what they had to do, um, you know, to have the proper ships and give us, you know, some kind of a really good robot modes. Um, and I think they did a really good job. Yeah, her proportions are kind of weird, but, I mean, they're robots. They're not going to have exact, perfect proportions. It's not going to ever happen. So, yeah. But I think it is still a really, really good set of robots. Um, I got this off of... I got both of them off of Big Bad Toy Store. Um, I know they're all sold out now. Um, which sucks, or at least I think so. But, you know, I am hoping that just like we got with the Ark, that we get a DNA Designs upgrade kit for her. Um, I'm not sure how they would do that with the hands, because his were so much easier to change out than hers would be, from what I can see. But I could be wrong, but it would be really nice to have more articulate hands, keep the three finger and one thumb like they got, kind of just fits, you know, keep the sharpness of it, you know, it works really well. But like, could think of a few things that they could possibly do that would really, you know, add more to her. We'll see if they come out with something. I mean, they haven't come out with any, something yet, so who knows? But yeah, so there is the Nemesis. Um, if you are having any issues with transforming yours, like I said, check out M Games uh, JTIs. They are so helpful. I sometimes am not the greatest at explaining, and he goes into so much of what you need to do, which panel, when. Um, so definitely recommend his JTIs. So that is going to be it for me so i want to say thank you for watching please like comment subscribe and i'll see you all later